there might be some substance under the claims that electric motorcycles are not yet ready to replace internal combustion models. But when it comes to scooters, the answer is definitely yes. Nearly negligible running costs, quite low prices, no need for long range and more dynamic riding experience make these two wheelers the hot topic for today's commuters. As promised in our previous episodes, today we'll review the newest electric scooters and mopeds of 2021. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Segway 9Bot e-moped C80 Segway have built their reputation by manufacturing self-balancing transporters, hoverboards, kick scooters and lately bikes. The next opportunity to be explored is the smart moped that can operate as a scooter. In terms of performance, the C80 might sound underwhelming, since it rides only at 20 mph top speed and covers no more than 53 miles on a charge. However, its license-free operation requirements, convenient auto cruise and a wide array of hop-and-go features definitely sound appealing. The Ride-Go Intelligence System includes AeroLock activation using your phone or a special key tag. The smart seat detection won't let you throttle unless safely seated. And the auto lock will power down the bike and activate an alarm automatically after stepping down. The Segway 9Bot e-moped C80 gets front fork suspension and a dual braking system, a disc up front and a drum in the rear. Bracker Clean to the point of being raw, minimalistic but properly equipped to comfortably ride through urban jungles. The Dutch Brecker was constructed around a lightweight yet strong aluminum frame with a motorcycle riding position. It gets a low center of gravity and a full suspension, represented by dual coilover shocks in the rear and an inverted fork up front with 60 and 100 mm of travel respectively. This bike houses not one, but two removable batteries, which extends the range up to 100 miles. The two-wheeler takes care of your safety by emitting a unique sound that increases awareness of your road presence. Expectedly, the model comes with anti-theft GPS functionality, smartphone connectivity and diagnostics. UNO Headquartered in Berlin, Uno Motors have been manufacturing electric scooters since 2014, offering a single model in three configurations. In 2020, this model was completely overhauled, given a new Bosch hub motor with two, three or four kilowatts of peak output and either one or two high-quality lithium-ion batteries with LG cells. Each of the batteries offers 31 miles of range and is removable. Regardless of the motor power, the scoot has its top speed limited to 28 mph, though the top-of-the-line model does boast faster acceleration and better hill climb capabilities. In addition, Uno comes equipped with intelligent LED lighting, regenerative braking, integrated navigation and shareable digital key system. Under the seat, you will find enough storage to fit two helmets, while the seat itself is large enough for two riders. Gorelli Cyclone Established by Alberto Gorelli in 1919, the Italian Gorelli motorcycles used to manufacture small displacement scooters and 350cc motorcycles. Plus, they even participated in several MotoGP World Championships in 1980s. This year, Gorelli is returning to the scooter field with an all-new all-electric model inspired by the original 1976 Cyclone. The two-wheeler comes powered by a 2 kW Bosch motor and a 2 kWh Samsung battery that can operate in three performance modes. The max speed of the scooter reaches 28 mph, while the expected range should be between 50 and 75 miles. The Cyclone is released in six different iterations – Scout, Dark, Metal, Passion, Sport and a limited edition SAC58. The latter will see just 58 units produced with all the sales proceeds going to Marco Simoncelli charity. The most distinctive model in the mix is the Scout, since it tracks a cafe racer look with faux leather seat, gold-painted trims and oversized threadblock tires.
Ether 450X. The Entian company Ether Energy markets their new generation 450X model both as a super scooter as well as the smartest and quickest model in the segment. The scoot gets a more powerful 8.2 horsepower electric motor, propelling it to 25 mph in 3.3 seconds and producing maximum speeds of 50. The motor is chosen by a larger 2.9 kWh battery pack that has now smarter management system and boasts IP67 waterproof rating. The 450X can be ridden in three pre-programmed modes, Warp, Ride and Echo, covering up to 53 miles in the most economical one. This two-wheeler is also compatible with fast charging stations and is equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen with 4G LTE, Google Maps and Bluetooth. In addition, this year the Ether is offered in a limited Series 1 collection with black and red exterior and sportier styling. If you want electric scooters to push out internal combustion models someday, this video must be liked. So thumbs up and make sure to watch it till the end. Let's keep going. Ascol NGS The Italian Ascol offers electric mobility solutions for the commercial, vehicle sharing and personal transportation markets. The brand's latest creation is the NGS scooter that is available in three modifications and three color options. Designed in Italy, this two-wheeler has classic styling, a two-person seat and either partial or full LED lighting. The propulsion is taken care of by the Ascal brushless motor, removable lithium-ion batteries and pulley transmission with a quieter belt. Depending on the modification, the scoot can speed to 28 or 41 miles per hour, while its range is limited to 25 through 60 miles on a charge. The top model in the series is called the NGS3. It comes equipped with a 2.9 kW motor, dual 2.82 kWh batteries, gets CBS braking system, and features a digital instrument cluster. Said MO e Scooter 125. You would know that a motorbike market segment is really hot when it starts to attract attention of larger, well known car brands. This is happening with the Spanish SAT, who are venturing into the unfamiliar business with their new MO e Scooter model. Labeled 125 for its 125cc equivalent performance, the two wheeler comes powered by an electric motor, peaking at 12 horses and producing 144 pound feet of wheel torque. It is used by 5.6 kWh battery pack that is good for 78 miles of riding. With this range, SAT estimates an average consumer will need to charge the battery just once a week. When you need to restore its capacity, two options are available. You can charge the vehicle at the station or remove the battery and plug it into a wall socket. Other features of the new SAT MO include bright lighting, a specially developed smartphone app and a digital screen. Urbatia da Line. The name of this Malaga-based manufacturer should sound familiar to our loyal audience, since we have previously featured Urbat's top-ranking bikes. This time, our gaze is focused on the brand's tech-savvy and affordable everyday commuting e-scooter. The Yadaya C-Line has traditional bodywork design with streamlined curves and full LED headlights. Its 1.2 kW brushless motor is wired to a Panasonic sourced 1.3 kWh removable battery pack. Together, the tandem has enough juice for 34 mph top speed, while the scoot's maximum range is estimated at 37 miles. The key technological asset of this model is the so called P gear, which imitates neutral gear found in a car. By pressing the P button on the handlebar, you prevent accidental throttle activation. The C-Lane also arrives standard with 170mm hydraulic disc brakes up front, built-in USB charger, LCD display, and an AQ alarm system. Horwin EK3 The Austrian-based importer of Chinese motorbikes continues its transition to a fully-fledged manufacturer. The in-house developed CR6 electric motorcycle, unveiled in 2019, is being joined by a vibrant scooter with universal appeal to any rider. 
Unlike its retro-style motorcycle sibling, the Horwin EK3 is not expected to deliver highway speeds. Yet, its center-mounted motor peaks at 8 horsepower, hence you get 59 miles per hour on the speedometer and 6 seconds of 0 to 37 miles or 0 to 60 km per hour acceleration. The scooter is sold in the standard and deluxe versions. Both get 62 miles of range and only differ visually, so expect to overpay only if you need metallic finish and a brown leather seat. Horwin ensures your safety by equipping this model with automatic LED daytime running lights and intensive LED lighting all around. Moreover, expect to benefit from a combined braking system, vacuum tires and anti-theft alarm. Red Electric With its new E-Series lineup, this French startup is ready to make a difference in the electric scooter's world. The Red Electric's trio boasts impressive ranges and power outputs, courtesy of the bespoke battery system with up to four interconnected packs and intelligent management. The main difference between the E50, E100 and E125 scooters is the drivetrain configuration. The entry-level E50 is powered by a 4kW motor and can cover from 46 to 186 miles on a single charge, depending on the number of the batteries. In turn, the highest spec E125 has a peak power output of 11kW or 15 horses, which translates to 75 mph top speed, and with 4 packs as standard, it will do about 124 miles before needing to connect to a socket. All three red electric scooters come with 7-inch waterproof dashboard, built-in GPS navigation and a keyless start. Wild Modern electric scooter manufacturers do not mind exploring designs borrowed from other motorbike classes. So, the electric mobility solutions from Australia brings us a unique bobtail cruiser scooter. The Wild uses a simple drivetrain with a rear-wheel hub motor and three power outputs up to 3 kW. It is a fully suspended model with a fork and dual rear coilover shocks, and it gets rather big 18-inch tires to smoothen the ride. The Emo S scooter might not be truly wild, but it's an orthodox design and acceptable price starting from just $2,200 do sound appealing. Would you agree that electric scooters are already superior when compared to the IC models? Which one of these newcomers is your top choice? Express your thoughts in the comment section below. Support the electric revolution with a like and subscription to Automotive Territory. More electrified content is coming your way. May the torque be with you!